Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everita Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in volunteer science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding employees earning more than their managers using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in a lot of companies, right? Amazon, Uber, Microsoft, Yahoo, Google, Facebook, Bloomberg, Wix, etc. Okay. Also, if you are new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty questions using SQL. The link of that entire playlist will be in the description box below. Also, if you do not have LeetCode Premium subscription, do not worry. I am going to share this Panda schema in the description box below as well. You can just copy it in something like Jupyter Notebook and try it on your own as well. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, so there is a table called employee with four different columns, ID, name, salary and manager ID. ID is the primary key column with unique values for this table and each row of this table indicates the ID of an employee, their name, salary and the ID of their manager. We are asked to write a solution to find the employees who earn more than their managers. The order of the result does not matter. So we have an employee table, right? So uh, employee of the ID, name, salary and their manager, right? So obviously just by looking at it, right? So Joe manager is uh, manager id 3 manager id 3 sam sam earns 60000 joe earns 70000 so obviously joe earns more than their manager right so joe is one name secondly for henry 80000 and uh, 90000 so obviously they earn less than their manager so they won't be in the output for sam there is no manager max there is no manager because they are managers themselves right so the, so the only name in the output is going to be joe right and that is what we have so obviously what we need to do is this is a classic case of using self join. So basically you need to join this table on itself to basically get, okay, this is a manager, right? So this is the manager and for them, you also have the salary name, etc. as well. So you can just self join this table on itself or data frame on itself, right? And then get the salaries in two different columns and then directly compare it. So what we can do is let's save this, uh, you know, merged data frame into something called df and just perform a merge of this so pd dot merge so obviously since we are performing a self join right so the first uh data frame is also going to be employee second is also employee but the columns that we are going to merge on is going to be different right why because from the this one right so employee you are taking the manager id and you are taking a next version of this and joining it on the id column right so you need to write left on left on manager id right and right on right so right on id okay how we should do it in a join right because it does not make sense right if you have null and you try to find okay null you will not find here right so it, you are just going to have multiple rows with for which you cannot perform a comparison right because if there if sam is an employee who does not have a manager how are going to perform a comparison right so it's better to have inner join even if you don't write it by default it will do inner join but let's mention it explicitly here right and once you have this then there is another uh you know thing that you can do is suffixes so that you are able to identify which of these names and salaries belong to employees and which of these belong to managers right so it's just for you know beautifying purposes but like uh if you don't write it it is going to have access for all the columns in employee and y is for all the columns in employee uh the right one right if there is the same name of the column so for example id name and salary manager id so these are going to be exactly same in since we are doing a self join right so it is going to have access so id x name x salary x manager id for the left part and uh, id y name y salary y and manager y manager id y for the right one but you know that would be difficult to comprehend so what we need to do is let's say okay so suffixes is equal to let's uh do uh e for employee right so let's do e for employee and m for manager right okay now once we perform this let me return this right so return the data frame let's see what do we have here okay so now if you look at it so now you have ids of employee name salary manager and then id of manager name salary and manager id let me just drag it to the left so that okay so now you have this, right? So now we can simply go ahead and compare that. Okay, wherever your salary of employee is greater than the salary of the manager, you can keep those rows. So we basically need to do a Boolean indexing. So DF, then DF of salary underscore E is greater than DF of salary 
underscore m right so it is going to return you only one row let me run this again so we are going to have only one row out of it right so now when you have this but in the output you only need what you only need the name of that employee who have who earns more than their manager right so basically you just keep that column right so that column is going to be name e right so name of employee right but it should be renamed this column should be renamed to employee so what we can do is we can just simply do rename what we are trying to rename columns what is the old value name e and we need to change it to employee right okay let me go ahead and run this again so let's see what do we have now okay so this is accepted and our output is same as expected output let me drag it back here right and let me go ahead and submit it this is past all the test cases okay so this is accepted and this is how we do it so not a very difficult question all we had to do was firstly we performed a self join to know what are the salaries of the employees as well as their managers and then we performed a boolean indexing to basically do a comparison and then we only kept the name of that employee who make more than their managers and we renamed that column so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video